Hi, Steph. Uh, before you guys finish the regular season, before that Memphis game, Steve Kerr explained in this stretch, you guys had to win two out of the next three games. So what are the emotions knowing it's still possible to win two out of the next three games, but the next one comes with a lot more desperation? Um, we'll be ready. I mean, right now it's, it sucks. We played pretty well tonight. <clears throat> Missed this type of environment. Uh, it was a lot of fun. High intensity, high competitive level. It's proud of everybody that stepped foot on the floor tonight. Um, but how we played, you know, they made a run in the third quarter. We turned the ball over and changed the game, but we still gave ourselves a chance to win. Um, and that's all we were worried about, you know, for the last 48 hours. Um, walk in the locker room, you're, you know, guys are upset, angry, frustrated. We didn't get the job done. But to your question, we'll be ready for Friday knowing uh, you kind of treat it like a regular season where you have to move on pretty quickly to a different team that we just beat and know that they're going to come in. Uh, with the same desperation we're going to have, and, you know, biggest game of the year. What did you think about LeBron's game-winning three? You're somebody who sinks those shots. You know what that feels like. It's a great shot. And, uh, broken play. I sunk in thinking, you know, he was kind of out of play, and they found him. He got his balance just in time and knocked it down. So, um you know, that's a, that was a tough one because you, you don't really expect it to go in. You expect us to get the rebound, come down and transition, have a possession to uh, to take the lead. But, you know, everything changes when it goes in. And, you know, all-time great players make great shots. That's what, that's what happens. Um, you know, no different tonight, but it's a tough one. Next question is from Anthony Slater. Which plays uh, in that second half, in that fourth, um, will you kind of – rethink what, what were kind of the backbreakers? Mostly the third quarter. I, I, I know we had a lot of turnovers. Um, and we fouled four times in the first, like, two minutes almost. And that changed the uh, that dynamic of the game. It's not a specific play. It's just the, the, the flow was interrupted by – and not getting shot attempts, them getting free throws, and they got life. Um, like I said, that was a tough stretch. We knew they were a great team, so they're going to make a run. You can't give them help in that situation. Uh, but we still had a chance, you know, to tie a game with a minute 20 left. Um, and it can go kind of either way. So that's really the marking of a playoff type game when you look back and – it might not have been pretty. You think you could have played better, especially in the third quarter to step on the throat, but you still have a chance. And, you know, ball bounce, you know, our way, last minute and a half, it's a different vibe, but it didn't. So we got to take that pill, swallow it, and move on. Um, that's kind of it. Next question is from Marcus Thompson. Steph, your guy, uh, Jordan Poole, had some pretty big moments. You know, uh, he tried to dunk on LeBron. He had a really good look in the corner. Uh, how encouraged are you, to, not not necessarily by the results, but by his uh, confidence and aggressiveness in, the, in a game like that? We talked about that the last two days. Everybody has to be aggressive. Don't be afraid of the moment. Um, it's going to feel different. <clears throat> it's going to be a different intensity, but be aggressive, be you, and that's what he did. Um, I like the fact he took those shots. Like the fact he tried to uh, run at the rim and, you know, just show that he's he's fearless in those moments. And that, that goes a long way um, for a young guy to be put in this position where you're playing 27 minutes in a must-win type of atmosphere. So <clears throat> carry that to Friday, carry that hopefully to a playoff round. And, you know, for him, Mike, Juan, knowing they're the only guys right now, maybe J uh, EP gets in there off the bench that are playing in our rotation. They have to play well. Um, there's pressure with that, but there's also a freedom knowing that you're going to get an opportunity. So take advantage of it. 
And was that the best you felt shooting the ball in a while at Staples? Did it feel good to get a game like that under your belt? I definitely knew my numbers the last whatever so games. Uh, it was tough to get some attempts away at Eric Garden, but, you know, made some big ones. Um, be be nice if we make it back here uh, round two or whatever it shapes out to be. Nick Friedel, ESPN.com. Steph, you and Steve have praised the confidence of the group all season. Uh, you and Draymond play 41 minutes each. So what gives you the confidence now that you guys will be able to, to bounce back emotionally given the way this game ended and given the game is coming so quickly Friday? We've had to do it the last 20 games. So it's no different. Uh, it is a winner go home scenario, but you know we've had a high confidence and put together a string of wins, and then you know had a tough loss and had to bounce back. So we've we've been there. Um, we're obviously very familiar with Memphis, understanding what it's going to take to to beat those guys again. Um, it's nice to be at home in front of our fans, take advantage of the moment, and just have fun with it. Don't. Put too much pressure on yourself, thinking you got to be perfect. You got to make every shot. You got to, uh, you know, choreograph what you're doing with the ball every possession. You know, they're gonna score. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be ebbs and flows. But we're a good team right now that knows how to compete and carry that same identity into into Friday. Come out swing. And to follow up real quickly on what Kareth asked you. As a guy who's hit so many demoralizing shots, what does it feel like being out there when you're a few feet away and you see the ball coming in from 30 feet and it goes down? Well, I've seen it before. About five years ago, I know what it's like. So this one, I was a little further away, so I ain't feel too bad about it. Jason Dumas, Cron Ford. Hey, Steph, you kind of alluded to it uh, earlier, and I'm going to consider this a playoff game. I know it's a play-in, but, you know, you had mm -hmm. like a one-season hiatus not playing in the play uh, playoff game. How did it feel to be back out there in a high-stakes moment? I know a guy, you know, of your caliber, these are the moments you live for. So you're out there with Dre in, in, in this moment. How did it feel just being back in high-stakes basketball again? It was awesome. I mean, I don't know how many fans are here, but it, the prep leading into the game, film study, the walkthroughs, our practice, the level of focus and intensity was amazing. And to your point, um, I was even telling Jordan Bell on the bench in the middle of the third quarter, like, I missed this. Um, it had been almost two years since the finals that we were here in a game that had those type of consequences and, and – uh, it's what you live for. It's what you work so hard for. It's it brings out the best in you in terms of your competitiveness and your energy and all that. Um, I love it. So get to run it back Friday and hopefully all next week. 